Oh, Monica! My darling. My darling. Who danced to that? Uh, Roddy, um, Reka. Oh. I don't know. My, my friend was named after that song, though. <laughs> Her name's Monica. <laughs> but, like, specifically named after that song? Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Wow. <laughs> it was Helen. Oh, that's what, it, yeah. Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our stupid Rake. It's Corbin. I'm Helen. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Extra page for our social media. Can't follow me on Twitter. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, Elon. But I wanted to pay eight dollars, and they no, well, they won't let me now. <laughs> Just create a fake account, no, verify you, it. You can't. I know. They stopped it already. <laughs> Wait, he stopped the eight dollar thing. Ha ha ha! I wonder why, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> you know he's gonna get sued for billions of dollars from that, that it's drug company. It's it's it's, it's, <laughs> it's they it's, lost billions. It is a giant, oh, it's massive hilarious. cluster. Hold on, fart. Hello. There okay. we go. Sorry, guys. Uh, sorry that if was the, weird. If the audio is weird at the beginning, I apologize. Uh, but we'll get into it now. Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's of the new film that just came out on Netflix. Newt. Flix. Nude Flix. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Nude Flix. Nude Flix. Uh, Look that up. <laughs> Probably don't actually, because yeah, I bet it's, really out, bet it's out there. It's out there. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee it's probably out there somewhere. Uh, but uh, the 2022 film Monica. Oh, oh my, my darling! Such a catchy song. Um, but uh, the directed by uh, Vasan Bala. Vasan Bala, who I think we. Hold on. No, he's not the 83 director. His first one, the uh, Maracho Dar. Nahain Hota. What was that? Maracho Dar. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, we have not seen. Uh, but um, but starring our Dost, Rajkumar Rao, and uh, our future Dost, yes. who has a supporting role in this, yes. uh, Radhika Apte. And then there's a whole bunch of others. It's a big ensemble cast. Obviously, I think the main star is our Dost, uh, Rajkumar Rao, though. Uh, since it is one that just came out, we're going to do mostly non-spoiler, and then if we want to get into some spoilers, this is one, it's a psychological thriller, so we'll probably get into some spoilers uh, towards the end, just because yeah. we got to talk about some stuff yeah. um, there. But So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's on Netflix, so you can check it out there. Rick, your initial thoughts of Monica! Oh, my darling! <laughs> um, yeah, and I don't know that I would... Does it would would you qualify this as a psychological no, thriller? No, 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 sorry. Yeah. I think I misspoke. It's more of a... Um, a dramedy, actually a crama. Crama, I think there's, there's, crama thriller? Yeah, there's more comedy than drama. Yeah, it's a dark comedy thriller. It's a dark comedy thriller. Yeah, I think yeah. that's better. Yeah, dark comedy not, thriller. Not, not psychological. Um, for, uh, it, it didn't live up for my expectations of from the trailer. My hopes mm. were higher for it. Um, it's still enjoyable. There's I, My favorite thing about this is the story. I think if you really just are looking to have a good time and be entertained and have a few laughs, you're in. If you're wanting... It doesn't help that right now I'm watching a lot of really... My mind is on a lot of really good high-level artistry type stuff. Uh -huh. And I knew going into this I was going to have to get into different gears mm -hmm. because this is not that. Yeah. But even still, it... Um, I could, I could, I could predict some of the twists and turns that were coming. I wanted more Radhika Apte, <laughs> so <laughs> always, um, always want always, more Radhika always want more Radhika Apte. Um, and I felt like uh, Raj Kumar, who would he, he's always going to do well with everything you give him. But ultimately, for me, it was a one and done. Mm. I didn't just get as engaged as I thought as I would. Mm. So. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, I I do like in terms of like how I liked like stuff like Ludo or stuff like that. I liked Ludo more. more. I got I got into it more. Yeah, but I still like this film, and I I would actually I would still watch it again. It's not one, uh, but I do agree. It lost me a little bit at, yeah. at, at times. The uh, when I was like at the beginning, I was like, oh cool, this is gonna be this is gonna be great. I think it lost itself occasionally. Yeah, and it's probably a little too long. It should be probably two hours as opposed to two twenty. I think it, uh, this is one of those that could come under or two hours yeah. probably probably um, it's very possible but there's a bunch but, i've really enjoyed about this film i love the originality yeah and uh i like the quirky filmmaking yeah that um uh, uh vasen bala brought to this yeah uh and uh, i i saw some people say that his first film was very similar in terms of 
being quirky, the quirky kind of because there's a lot of, like uh, I'll get into it. Like one of my some of my favorite parts are the visual aspect of the film. He made it really, really pr- like pr- not like Sanjay Lee Bensali, but it was really fun and unique to look at uh, in how he developed his shots and, and fun edits. Yeah, fun edits. Yeah, but see, let me. Ha- you have you seen everything everywhere all at once yet? Yeah. Okay, so. That's the kind of thing for me. It's like it's not fair to compare it, but no. I can't. I can't help because those are the kinds of things I've been watching recently. Yeah. you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, obviously, I'm, very little lives up to everything ever all at once right now. <laughs> That's one of the best yeah. films of the year. Yeah, uh, but in terms of just a pure out Hindi dark comedy thriller, I thought it did a good job. I th- I, I think it could have done better in some aspects. Yeah, there's some um, the straining credulity parts um, for me were a little bit off but the charts. Like. Like I said, the visual aspects I really enjoyed from Vasambala and his uh, cinematographer. Um, uh, there's two that are credited as um, DOPs. So that would be Swapnil, forgive the mispronunciation, everybody, uh, Swapnil Sonwani and Sukash Viswarant. And uh, the editor. As yeah, well. an editor, uh, Atanu uh, Mukherjee. Uh, I thought they did a really good job with that whole um, aspect of the film because that. He, um, that definitely kept me engaged at certain times because I was like, this is just, I, I like what you're doing with this. It's mm-hmm. really more original than just a strict um, thriller telling. Right. Even though obviously I, there were parts that I was like, yeah, I know what's coming next. Right. But then there were actually parts that I was like, oh, I was surprised. Yeah, toward, toward uh, the end there were some twists. Um, like, oh, you twisted it again yeah, there it, too. It, it's, it's difficult for, I, I think uh, thrillers have a hard time nowadays because you've seen everything. It, right. It's really hard really? to make something it's something so like I've never seen that before. Right, film has been around and thrillers have been around since towards the beginning yeah. of cinema because you know it's a it's a fun genre to tell. But I thought it did a good job with that as well as the unique score behind it all and the background music. Yeah, so like very dawn. Yes, you, and you could tell. And I bet people that speak spoke Hindi speak Hindi and know Hindi cinema because I, I think he was a lot of homage obviously I picked up on some of them a lot of homage just to old cinema yeah I feel like and especially with the 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 score which oftentimes you can overscore a film even though I don't consider this overscored even though in, in certain films if there was this much I would consider it overscored but Agreed. I thought it worked for this film I when it started we are 10 minutes into the film, and I, I wrote down on my notes, I'm like, overscore. We're, we may, and then something happens, mm-hmm. and I went, oh, yeah, gotcha. And then as I kept going, I basically, I feel exactly the same way. Other films, yeah. that much score, I would absolutely say you've overscored it. You're, you're trying to make up for lack of story or lack of performances. Whereas this is one of those films where the score is actually a character in the storytelling. Mm-hmm. It's actually supposed to be up front as part of the quirkiness and weirdness, as yeah. much as the editing choices are, as much as some of the slapstick is. So, yeah, yeah I, it was, I agree. It, I think it's it one fit, of my favorite things. I think it fit the editing style and the, and the visual aspects of the film yeah. really well. And I like that. I think it's, once again, a unique choice to make in terms of, like, sometimes it was a very rock background music sometimes it was very like uh old school kind of jazzy mm-hmm. um sometimes it was film noir yeah yeah it was uh so that's why i said like if it's i think there was a lot of homages to old school hindi cinema for sure that we did obviously some of it i picked up on and like i said it's very uh, towards original big b don-esque background music like yeah. the dun, 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 and then obviously the monica oh my darling which uh we haven't seen the original but i know about that song mm-hmm. um and obviously they played it the entire time which i thought was a cool theme for it all uh the performances uh raj kumar i think obviously did a, a good job mm-hmm. this was one that was very kind of familiar to his character like his self i feel like yeah um he not like the stretch of uh, was it ludo yeah that that it was a really character character yeah this is one of those where if we were talking to him after having seen it i would like to ask was this be honest is this one of those things where you went through some of the usual stuff where you're asking questions about the character and maybe diving into some of those things or did you just show up on set that day (laughs) and just go with whatever you well, were Well, obviously the character didn't call for it to be that, no, that as quirky as a, others. not at all. I like Radhika Apte's character, which you guys know I will never stop singing the praises of Radhika Apte in my life. She, uh, she's she's my favorite thing about the movie. Because she, she came on screen, right? 
And I'm like, oh, sweet. I love Radica. Uh, and she gives such a... Like, you could take her character and on... on and maybe it's the writing, maybe it was the director that, that led her this way. But that her performance is not how I think a normal actor would read that character. The no. way she performed it. You know how she performed it? With the same kind of comedic intelligence and originality that Pankaj would give it. Oh, yeah. Very similar approach, yeah. don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Or like... like um, um, our, our dost uh, Raj Kumar did in Ludo, or yeah, because um, I, th- I loved his character in Ludo. I thought it was so fun, yeah, and so unique. Um, but yeah, the, like her straight, but also like she's always joking around. But is she joking around? Yeah, like, and the she fi- knows more about it than you do. Like, yep, she's not giving anything away. I loved her character. I thought it was so fun and unique. She must have, and been, she's the greatest actor currently acting. Yeah, actress. really, really must have enjoyed the prospect of what. Because that's a fun, quick role yeah. to do, and she was my favorite part of the film. Yeah, she was. Yeah. She was absolutely great. I thought um, a whole bunch of the rest of the cast did really well. Monica was good. Um, there was certain act- actors that I I didn't love, um, like his girlfriend in it. I was I wasn't a huge fan of of her. Mm. Uh, I thought Monica did well. I liked uh, the, his look a lot of uh, the the main guy that that wanted to murder. Was it him? The brother. Yeah. yeah, who started a the son of the guy? Yes, uh, he, there's a there's a is scene. That there's a scene that's in the trailer. Yeah, that's him, Sekunder Kerr. There's a scene that's in the trailer where the three guys are talking to one another about what they're gonna do about Monica. That for me is where the movie starts. Mm-hmm. That that's where the movie started. Yeah, he I and one, the way it was filmed once again. Yeah, I thought it was real fun and unique. I loved his performance. I love his look. Mm-hmm. I thought he it was really cool. Um, I thought he did a great job, and I was kind of sad that he died so soon because I was spoiler. Looking, uh, sorry, oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. That, that doesn't give. That doesn't give. Too- <laughs> I'll try to bleep that out. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, if you just saw like a, a a mute, I I accidentally said a spoiler, and I'm gonna try to cut it. Okay, out. good. I, I apologize. Good, good, good. <laughs> Um, but I liked his character a lot. Uh, he was also one of my favorite performances in it. Mine as well. Um, Mine as well. I, I thought he did a good job. Um, where I think the, the the film kind of, I think I don't know exactly when it is because it's not that. Um, it necessarily bored me. It's just I was like I I wasn't as engaged. Yeah, that's a I good description. It, maybe it just got a little too long. So I was like, maybe you could have tightened it up a little bit. Uh, in certain areas, so yeah. like it wasn't like I say, like you said, two hours, a little under two hours. I think would have been a perfect time. I think I think it would have been nice and and zippy. Uh, yeah, but that 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 was probably the biggest drawback for me loving a, the the film and and like raving about. I think the similar way we raved about Ludo because mm-hmm. I really enjoyed Ludo. Yeah, uh, I think that one was under two hours. If I want to, I wouldn't be. I surprised. could be wrong, or if it's not, they just did a really yeah, good I job. Wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised um, in, in how that filmmaker did it, but I that would be probably my biggest flaw with the film. Yeah, I, I, I there are, there are movies we've watched where I'm, you know, the ones that I've not liked, mm. where I'm watching it and I'm just it's laborious and I'm just wanting it to end. I would, yeah. I was never in that place with this. Yeah. I did get to places, especially as we were reaching toward the ending point. It was the second half where yeah. I felt like we were just getting a little bit long. Yeah. And I was, I, I just kind of lost the engagement. Yeah. Where I, I felt like, okay, I checked the time. I'm like, okay, I got about 30 minutes left and I'm waiting. I knew there'd be some more twists. What helped were that there were more twists I couldn't see. Yeah. That did help. But it lost some of that, like, remember, it starts really in the three-guy scene. Yeah. And it's quirky, and you're thinking, okay, and you can forgive some of the things that are straining credulity because this is kind of farcical. And then there were a p- couple points where I was like, okay, that's just that's just straight up ridiculous. We could have had a little more forethought than that. That's and Maybe some people find that funny, like, for example, well, it's a spoiler. We, should we get into spoilers? At this point, yeah, we can. Okay, um, so we're gonna get into spoilers now. So if you if you haven't seen it, go see it. Yeah, go go watch it. It's on Netflix, like I said. It's yeah, a, it's a it's a good watch. I don't think you're gonna regret watching it. I uh, I think there's a lot of people who love the movie. Yeah, I, I, I could I've completely already, understand that. It's, it might be totally different with different subtitles as well, because obviously yeah. we know that 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 changes and references that. We don't understand that would probably keep you engaged that that we didn't maybe yeah. catch because I know there's like musical stuff. 
actors, shout outs, different kind of stuff that we just uh, we don't and, know yet. And I'll tell you this. There are times where it's just in life, especially, you know, after we came out of COVID and everything else, where you're wanting to watch something that's just going to tune out the woes and the th and you just want to be entertained and mm -hmm. laugh and just be have your train of thought be locked this is absolutely your kind of movie. Once again, shout out to uh, our, our Dostaraj Kumar. Of, now, this is like two, I think, good films of the two, two of the better films of the year, obviously. But Dai Do, which I think is one of the top five films of yeah. the year. Yeah. It's so, so good. And then I think this one is a, a, a good entertainer. Uh, a lot of people, I think, will really enjoy it. And it went straight to. OTT, which I yeah. think is is good. It's a good thing for this. It's go to good street. for this it. is an OTT kind of um, film. Even though, like, I would still support it if it went to theaters, but I think it's good that it it, it went to Netflix. I did too, and that was another thing for me where it didn't. Um, and it's nobody's fault, but because so many of Raj Kumar's films, especially, but I do have with it in the midst of the fun and the funny some message. Mm -hmm. This one didn't have that. No, it didn't. No. And I was I was kind of hoping and waiting for that to happen and then had to go, okay, it's not that. Oh, yeah. That's I, was, fine. I was never... That, it's, it's not that. I was never expecting um, a message from because the, the lead character was prepared to murder somebody. But like, I, I love... Hilarious. So the thing that I had mixed feelings about, I loved were spoilers now. Yeah, yeah. So where if you haven't watched it, go watch it. He comes up from behind him and grabs his feet and throws him over the edge of the building. Yeah. I love that. But then when they showed him hanging by his hands off the thing, I was like, oh... If the whole thing had been as ridiculous, I would have I would have been more okay with that. Mm. But that that sequence for me, and then coming down and they don't question what he took off the when he takes the thing off the windshield to wipe off the bird poop. All of that was like really we couldn't have thought that whole process through a little bit more. Or maybe there are some people who find the absurdity of that to be funny enough that they don't think about the credulity aspect. But that that was a part for me where it started to get out of my interest zone mm. toward the second half. Yeah. Um, I figured you'd have a, an issue with that. But I, I've i seen the I'm falling and then they think they're dead trope, but he's of on course. something through cinema, through... It's been a long time that that's, that's been a thing. But so, that, that one was a weird one because he was he was he was well, going he, over. Well, he flipped over, and so his hands were technically still by the, because uh, he flipped him up here, and so his hands were still by the, the the it's building. A stretch. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm not saying it's not a stretch, <laughs> but I've seen that stretch. Oh yeah, throughout cinema, of course, uh, for a long time. So I was. Uh, wasn't it worked for with me it. with like Charlie Chaplin. Oh, um, no, it's been in action films. Oh no, I, I understand. Where it's just it, it, it strains credulity, but yeah. again, this isn't an action film. This yeah. is you know anyway. Um, but um, yeah, when like certain people uh, died, like I knew obviously because they didn't check. I was like, I know that's not Monica, exactly. And I knew she was going to come. I right? I knew when they showed us when they sh when it wasn't her. Yeah, that I'm like, she's not dead. Yeah, she's not dead. Yeah. Um, but, but I was sad. <laughs> I bleeped it out earlier. Uh, um, that when he died, I was I was sad because I was like I, I liked his character. I wanted to yeah. see a little more from the dynamic. I would have of loved to have seen the three of them yeah. throughout trying to kill her and they can't. Yeah, that's what I was kind of uh, hoping for. That would have been a, a, real, a lot of fun. But then like when Monica died, I would, when she actually died, right? I, that did shock me. Me uh, too. I would turn around. I was like, oh, okay, cool. Got another twist uh, that I didn't see coming. Uh, well, I figured she would die, but I just didn't. In that moment, I didn't. Right. Not, I was not expecting Me too. her. I didn't ex that was a surprise. Uh, obviously, towards the end, where <laughs> that the, the big whole thing was like she, the kid would have actually been your your. Yeah, your, it all goes back your to your father the, the, the father. Yeah, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, and, and then Radhika's whole kind of thing there at the end, because um, she almost she went from like very playful, and then it looked like she was like almost. Oh. Uh, in on it yeah yeah right yeah uh <laughs> which i thought was a nice twist yeah um and so i i think f there was a bunch of good stuff that kept me engaged throughout i think it could have been cleaned up a little bit uh to make it like a a really good one but like i said that also could have been there might have been stuff in that part that lost me um like my engagement a little bit that are more references in hindi or like there's stuff that's going on in the back because I know I yeah. saw something like when an actor came on I forget which actor it was like the song behind it was actually one of his songs from earlier in mm. his career mm. like and there, so there's probably a bunch of different probably a bunch of that sure I'm, of course um, but um, that that would be my biggest gripe which is I think a, a fine gripe for a film um, to not have like I don't have really a big performance gripe with anyone there were no. there were smaller characters that I didn't love. Um, their performances, but mm -hmm. there was few and far between. Most of the, the 
actors, I think, did a really good job. I think it could have been even worse if the filmmaking style wasn't as fun and unique. Yeah. And and even, like, I don't know if it was the staging or what it was, but sometimes in movies like this, there's a really wonderful rhythm where things are just getting crazier and crazier and crazier and they go off the rails. Yeah. And this never really did that. It felt like it got crazy for a minute and then it came back and it got crazy for a minute. Like, his fight scene with Monica didn't really... <sighs> entertain and make me laugh or anything as much as I felt maybe they were trying to. Mm. Um, it was fine, but it wasn't hilarity for me. Mm. And I, I wasn't like, wow, that's ridiculous with mm. him crawling up the thing and the, the belt and yeah. then she's throwing stuff. She's throwing stuffed animals at him and he's hiding from it. Mm -hmm. I, it. There was just, I don't know what it was that could have cleaned that up. Maybe it was because at that point I was already starting to drift in my engagement. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Yeah, it's possible. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I, I like the film. I would watch it again. Um, but, you know, you guys down below tell us what you thought about the film. Uh, and... Uh, <laughs> Just looking at Radhika update. I love. Well, can, can we can we close just by talking about like little things she did that I would love. And my suspicion where it was just the natural. It was never the same take. I love when the very first time we meet her, when she says that thing, which is in the trailer, when she says, "Yeah, I can't help it that I'm pretty." Yeah. But then when she gets up to go leave, I don't remember what her line is, but she does of this physical pushing on Rajkumar and does it strong enough to let him know, you know, if you, you and I got into a fight, I could probably take you. She does this really strong, like, push on him, and she, like, kind of laughs that he she pushed him so hard. My suspicion is that wasn't scripted, and that was <laughs> that take. That, that may not have been there before. And that's the fun and the greatness of watching someone like her. And that's why I wanted more of them together. Them together. I mean, I just could have used a whole film, well, just the two of well, them. Well, when you have the two of the, in my opinion, <laughs> best actors yeah. in a Indian cinema uh, acting along each other. I also I also loved, and I don't know if it was scripted or it was just Radhika and the actor, uh, forgive me for not knowing his name, but her partner, her little sidekick that was there, there's the moment where... Uh, they're talking to Raj Kumar and um, making it clear that they probably know something because they have a witness who was blind and she's telling them the whole, that whole story. And there's this great moment. There's two of them in that scene where she looks over at her partner and he looks at her and they have this inside joke between each other and like we know stuff he doesn't know but they never say anything. Mm -hmm. And it lasts for quite a while. Mm -hmm. It's like this... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the really whole, great. I love the whole quirkiness yeah. of her name. I... There's a reason I rave about her, uh, <laughs> because she's amazing, yep. and she's so, so talented. Uh, give her a... I mean, granted, she probably could have won an Oscar for her if more people saw it parched, her performance in Parched. Yeah. Uh, she's that caliber. She oh, easily. She's above a lot of Oscar winners' caliber, yeah, she's, in my opinion. She's, I, I would really love to see more films like Parched. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just, and anything she does, I just this, this didn't have enough Radhika Opte for me. Nothing has enough Radhika Opte for me. <laughs> uh, what is she working on? Hold on. What is going on? Past films. Past films. It's just not showing anything right what? now in uh, pre-production, which can't be possible. Oh, she's with UTA. Oh yeah, she was in Vikram Veda, just mm -hmm. barely though mrs uncover what's mrs uncover i don't know akshay kapoor oh i like that uh is it, oh is it like an agent tina thing that's exactly what i was thinking <laughs> That would be cool, huh? That would be great. <laughs> Anyways, let us know what you thought about the film and what should be the next Radhika Apte, Rajkumar Rao, uh, and other films that we should watch next down below.